What can you do with Aladdin toaster? I tried all of the 8 cooking courses installed, so I will tell you all. Hello, everyone. I'm Misuzu. Today I will introduce you to the dishes that you can enjoy with the Aladdin toaster. The Aladdin graffiti grill and toaster is new for 2021. I tried the 8 built-in cooking courses, so I will introduce them this time. Let's take a look at these 8 types. There's a lot of content, so I'll introduce it quickly. As for what kind of toaster is, I have introduced it in the previous video, so I will put a link in the summary column. There is also an English dubbed version. Preheat the empty toaster before first use. Bake for 3 minutes at 320 degrees on the high temperature grill course without putting anything in the toaster. First, toast. There are two courses, one piece grilled and two to four pieces grilled. You can choose from five levels of browning. The temperature and time are automatically set, so we choose the browning color. This toaster is equipped with a microcomputer control and a temperature sensor, so no matter how many toasts you make, it will be the same color no matter how many times you toast it. I tried all five stages of baking color. Let's compare. First and second from top left. And third and fourth from the bottom left. And the last five baked color. Number five has a dark brown color. Let's take a look at the back. Number one and number two have a fairly light baked color on the back. The Aladdin Toaster's toast is characterized by a crispy surface and a slightly toasted backside so you can enjoy the gap between the front and back. Therefore, the baked color on the back will be lighter. I like the fourth and fifth browned ones. I am happy with this function that can be baked with your favorite color. Second, frozen toast. I used pandemia baked in a Panasonic bread maker. I use Japanese wheat. Freeze it and then bake it. In this frozen toast course, even frozen thick sliced bread can be softly baked to the inside. So this time I'm going to measure the size and slice it to the thickness of the 4 centimeters. You can get two slices from one loaf of bread. Wrap each slice in plastic wrap and freeze for at least a day. The bread has frozen. Let's bake frozen toast. Choose from five levels of browning to match the frozen toast course. Bake on number four first. The baked color looks like this. Because it is a thick cut toast, the back side has a light baked color. Well, is it really soft to the inside? I'll tear it apart a little. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. It's baked properly. No cold part. The browning on the back side was a little light, so next time I'll try baking the frozen toast with browning number 5. What about the results? Even if you bake it with the fifth brown color, the color of the back is light. However, the baked color on the surface is more crispy in number 5. It's more brown than before, and it's fragrant. The inside is chewy and soft. No cold part. The Panasonic bread maker has an early bake course. The pain de mia used earlier takes 5 hours to make, but this quick baked bread can be made in 2 hours. Compared to the pain de mia course, the quick bake course has more yeast and flour. Since the size of the finished product is small, it becomes a fine-grained bread. I usually bake this bread once in a while, so I tried this bread as well. I can't eat a lot of toast at once, so I bake it on another day. Cut this bread into thick slices and try frozen toast. Place the mountain of bread in front and bake it as before. First of all, baked color number 3. The baked color is lighter than before. 
The back is white, isn't it? Let's tear it apart. There are some hard parts. It's cold inside. When I tried it, I was able to eat it without any problems. The middle part of the bread still seems to be frozen. How about baked color 5? Let's toast. I'll take it out. It's more brown than the previous toast. The baked color on the back is light. Let's tear it apart. There is a little bit of cold inside. But there are no hard parts. In this case, it's burnt to the inside. So, depending on the bread you use, I recommend baking color 5. Be careful as it may still be frozen inside. However, I was able to bake thick sliced bread without thawing it. I will introduce my recommended cooking method. I've tried frozen thick sliced toast a few times, but I've settled on this method. Start with baked color number 3. The baking time is displayed as 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Stop once after 1 minute. Again, baked color number 3. Start at 5 minutes and 30 seconds. With this method of baking, the surface will be very crispy. And the back side also has a nice baked color. It sounded crisp and fragrant. And the surface is more brown than the fifth baked color. Fragrant and fluffy inside. This is delicious. The third is the oven course. I'm going to make the white bread described on the Aladdin official website. Since the amount is the same, I will put the link of the official site in the summary column. Sanitize your work surface and knead the dough. The amount is according to the official website, but I will use my usual kneading method. Divide the flour in two. Add sugar, yeast and water to one side. First, mix vigorously with a wooden spatula. I used milk instead of water this time. When the dough thickens, add butter, remaining flour and salt. Mix briefly. I'll go fast from here. Place the dough on a disinfected work surface and knead it with your weight. If the dough is too hard, add more milk. I added 15 milliliters this time. When the dough becomes elastic and comes together, it's finished kneading. Roll the dough and close the seams. Now let's ferment in the toaster. Place dough seam side down in deep grill pan. Fermentation in the Aladdin toaster dries the dough considerably. So I'm painting the surface of the bread dough with milk. Cover with grill pan. Ferment for 30 minutes on a low temperature course of 40 degrees. Primary fermentation is over. Degas the dough when it rises. Then cut it into 6 equal parts. If you want to make it carefully, measure the weight of the dough and cut it into equal parts. I'm cutting it without weighing this time. Roll up and take bench time for 10 minutes. In the meantime, prepare 60 grams of diced cheese. Take the first dough. Seam side of bread dough up and flatten with your hand. Place 1 sixth of the cheese on top and wrap. Wrap the rest of the dough in the same way. Place it on the oven sheet and put it back in the grill pan. Secondary fermentation is 20 minutes at 40 degrees. You can leave it covered with a damp cloth to ferment. After the second fermentation is finished, preheat the toaster. 5 minutes at 160 degrees. Let's finish it in the meantime. Put bread flour in a tea strainer and sprinkle it on the bread dough. Make a cut with a pair of sanitized kitchen scissors. Topped with cheese on the notch. I use about 10 to 15 grams. Put it in the toaster. Set to oven course. Bake at 140 degrees for 18 minutes. It has been baked. 
It was plump and delicious. Compared to using an oven, I thought that the Aladdin toaster would bake white bread more beautifully. Doesn't it get a little more brown when baked in the oven? I am happy with this white and soft state. The amount is almost the same as the official site. If you want to know more, please check the link in the summary column. The cheese melts and is delicious. Fourth, high temperature grill course. This is a course for high temperature cooking up to 320 degrees. In the previous video, I introduced the grilled chicken thighs using this course. I'll put the link in the summary column. I make another one on the high temperature grill course. Baked sweet potato. It's perfect for a winter snack. It is a sweet potato that has been thoroughly washed with a scrubbing brush. Wrap it in aluminum foil. Wrap each one in aluminum foil even if you are steaming two at a time. Place in a deep grill pan and cover with a shallow grill pan. Set to high temperature grill course. 60 to 70 minutes at 320 degrees. Adjust according to the size of the sweet potato. This time, I used a sweet potato with a diameter of 5 cm and heated it for 70 minutes. Let it sit for 30 minutes without removing it from the toaster. Steam it in residual heat. By taking time to steam with residual heat, you can get a sticky and rich sweetness. Fifth, the simmering course. Let's make curry in the simmered course. This time, I will use curry roux according to the recipe on the official website. I used oriental rice flour curry roux. I don't think there is any problem with using curry powder. The recipe link of the official site is pasted in the summary column. How to make curry with Aladdin toaster is very easy. Put all the vegetables and meat into the grill pan. This time, onions, carrots, potatoes, garlic, ginger, and beef thighs. Pour in water, add curry roux and mix roughly. If using a solid roux, chop it finely with a knife and add it. Cover with a shallow grill pan and move to the toaster. Set to simmer course. Time is 45 minutes. No need to set the temperature. I'll take it out when it's done. It is quite heavy, so please take it out carefully. The lid pops right off. The container has no handle. It contains a lot of very hot liquid. You can't see inside the grill pan. It is difficult to take out without spilling. Everyone, please take it out carefully. It's done. Plenty of curry was completed just by putting it in the toaster. Steamed vegetables are sweet and delicious. It has a different taste than curry cooked in a pot. And it's so easy because it's just stuffed and baked. I used beef earlier, but I also tried chicken thighs. I changed the amount of meat to 600 grams. It may be too fatty due to the large amount of meat. I will try to do the same cooking. Add the same rice flour curry roux and dissolve. The grilling time is the same as before. Set to simmer course for 45 minutes. Here it is. I increase the amount of meat, so it's even heavier. I was afraid to take it out. Plenty of chicken. The fat of the chicken was entangled in the hole and the rich flavor was delicious. I like curries with lots of meat, so you might prefer to add 600 grams of meat. The curry stuck to the grill pan but it came off cleanly when I washed it with a sponge. The surface of the white grill pan is enamel processed, so dirt seems to come off easily. The black grill pan was harder to get dirty than the white one. It was necessary to wash with force, but both became clean. Six, the steamed course. Try steaming store-bought refrigerated meat buns in a toaster. Fill the deep grill pan with water and add the drain board. Place the meat buns on top. This is horai pork bun. Do not peel off the paper attached to the meat bun. Cover with a shallow grill pan. Steaming time for this meat bun is 10 to 15 minutes. 
I felt like 12 minutes was better because 10 minutes wasn't enough. When it's done, be careful not to burn yourself and take it out. Plump hot and fluffy it was steamed. I am happy to be able to use the toaster to steam food. 7th, Low Temperature Cooking Course Preheat an empty toaster before using low temperature cooking. Remove the net. For hygiene purposes, let's bake for about 3 minutes on the grill course at 320 degrees. Then let it cool completely. Set the drain board on the grill pan. Peel 600 grams of chicken breast. Add 60 grams of salted rice malt and marinate overnight. Bring to room temperature 30 minutes before using. Insert a knife into the thick part of the meat and cut open. Arrange them on the drain board. Top with a few slices of ginger and cover. Set the low temperature cooking course to 80 degrees. First, heat in 70 minutes according to the salad chicken recipe on the official website. 70 minutes was not enough heat, so I added 40 minutes after this. So this is it. Chicken breast was tender and slow cooked. Slice it diagonally. Heat for 70 minutes this time. I added 40 minutes after that, but there were still some red spots. Reheat the part that is not heated enough. Heat another 20 minutes. That's it. Fresh vegetables such as cucumbers and tomatoes go well with it. I enjoyed the moist and tender chicken breast. And the eighth, the last is cooking rice. Use the rice cooker that comes with the Aladdin toaster. You can cook up to 360 milliliters of raw rice in this pot. Prepare rice that has been soaked for 30 minutes. Add 60 milliliters of purple glutinous barley to one cup of rice. Drain the water and put it in the rice cooker. Glutinous barley with skin is hard, so it is soaked overnight. Add the amount of water and water for the glutinous barley and cook. Set the rice cooking course to 1 go or 2 go. You can cook rice in about 30 minutes. Don't you think it's kind of strange that you can cook rice in a toaster? But the rice is sweet and fluffy. The official website explains that rice is very similar to rice cooked in an earthen pot. It was so delicious. I was able to cook hard skin barley quite softly. However, rice can be cooked in the toaster only if the toaster is not used for other menus. Therefore, if you often cook with a toaster, you may not use the rice cooking function very much. I have only used the rice cooking course twice at home. But I'm really happy to be able to cook delicious rice with a toaster. A final note. I burned the grill pan on the oven course. This was burnt with baked sweet potato and non-fried chicken. When using a drain board, there is no particular description in the attached manual, but it seems good to put aluminum foil, oven sheets, vegetable scraps, etc. under the drain board. Wouldn't it be nice to use it like this? Everyone please take care. This completes the explanation of the cooking course. Good job for today. This time, I told you about the 8 cooking courses installed in the Aladdin Toaster flagship model. It can be used not only for toaster, but also for a variety of other things, such as a oven, a rice cooker, or a low temperature cooker. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Have a nice day, today. See you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for always enjoying the video. This channel shows recipes without sugar. Please don't forget to like the video, and subscribe to my channel. I recipes are written on my blog, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and so on are also playing. Then, let's the next video again.